Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect up various different headphones to your TV. So I'm going to be using different TVs for the different headphones depending on the setup that they're used in. So to begin with I'm going to be using some Bluetooth headphones on a Bluetooth TV. Then I'm going to be using the same Bluetooth headphones but on a TV without Bluetooth. So we're going to be using this little Bluetooth transmitter. After that, I'm going to be using some wired headphones. That's going to be the easiest one because you just have to plug them in. And lastly, I'm going to be using this gaming headset. So this one will be working wirelessly, but it's not using Bluetooth. It's using 2.4 gigahertz, which is a different signal to get the sound from the TV to the headset. So here we go. Okay, so on this TV here now, we're going to be using the Bluetooth speakers, and the TV itself has Bluetooth built into it. So what we need to do is we need to go to Menu, and we're going to go down to Sound, and I'm going to go across to the right button, and we're going to go down to where it says Additional Settings, because we have to sync up, we have to pair these Bluetooth speakers to the TV. So we go to Additional Settings, press the Enter button, and I'm going to go down to the very bottom where it says Bluetooth audio and I'm going to press OK and there it says Bluetooth audio devices so I'm going to again press the enter button and it says there it needs to pair with the device that you want now with these speakers here I just need to turn them on and they will enter into the pairing mode because I haven't got them paired to anything else. You will see they will go between blue and red. So hopefully now within about a few seconds it says there TTBHO3 needs pairing and that's what these particular speakers are called. So again I'm just going to go to OK or the enter button and it says up there pair and connect. So again I'm just pressing the enter button. Now it says connecting to TTBHO3 And already now I can hear the sounds coming through my headphones. And it says there that it's connected. So that's that bit there, so let's just go down to close. And I just want to show you one other thing which is handy to do. If you then go to this section here and go to sound effect, if you go down to headphone surround and turn that to on, it really does make their Bluetooth headphones sound really good. So check out the settings on your TV because different TVs will have different settings. But there we go, so I've turned headphone surround sound on and basically it says on the side, experience home cinema like surround sound through your headphones. And now if I exit that there, it's no longer coming through the TV, it's purely coming through the speakers here. This here so you can use the volume control on the speakers themselves to make it louder and more quiet. And how the caterpillar That's turns nice and loud now. And nice and quiet. And then when we go to turn it off, the sound will come back through to the TV again. These are now off. And there we go. When you go to the volume, it will come back through on the TV. And let's say now, later on in the day if you want to put it through the headphones again because it's already paired once if you haven't paired these to anything else when you turn them on again the TV will just ask you if you want to pair to these headphones so in the corner there it says Bluetooth device detected would you like to hear the TV sound through this device so I'm just going to go to yes and there we go it's come through here again it's still inside it's absolutely inside so once they're paired up it's really simple to do so basically this is handy if for example the TV's in your bedroom and your partner's asleep and yet you still want to watch TV but you don't want to disturb them so this is like the handiest feature to do that so I'm just going to disconnect that again right now let's show you downstairs a Bluetooth working on a TV with no Bluetooth Okay, so this is uh, another TV. This one hasn't got Bluetooth in. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this little Bluetooth transmitter and plugging it into the headphone jack at the back of the TV. Now, it doesn't work as well as the Bluetooth TV upstairs because as soon as you plug anything into the headphone jack, it will put all the sound through the headphone jack. But then I can't get it to work on the TV again unless I unplug this. So even if I turn this off, 
because this is plugged into the headphone jack, it's still trying to send sound through here. So it's not as it's not as ideal as the one upstairs, but this one hasn't got Bluetooth, and this is the the next best option if you want to use Bluetooth speakers. So these little Bluetooth transmitters cost roughly around 17 UK pounds from places like Amazon and eBay. You can also get ones that have transmitter and receiver. Obviously we need a transmitter because we're transmitting the signal, the sound out of the TV, out to the Bluetooth headset. So first of all, before we do anything, I just want to pair up these two devices. So with this one here, all I need to do is, it's going to be different depending on the transmitter you have, but on this one I just need to hold down the on and off button hold it down so it turns on and keep it held down and it will go into pairing mode and the light will go from blue to red quickly flashing blue, red, blue, red and that means it's in pairing mode so I'm going to hold down the button now that's blue and in a few more seconds it will go blue and red right so now that is in pairing mode so it's looking for a device to pair to again I'm going to just turn on these Bluetooth headphones and now they're blue and red so that's looking for a device to connect to there we go I heard it just go beep and now that's them two connected so now we need to plug this into the headphone jack at the back of the TV so if we just bring the camera around here on this particular TV the headphone jack is just this point here this one here. So all we do is plug the transmitter into here. Now, if you're going to be leaving this plugged in all the time and you're going to be using this a lot and then when you want it working on the TV you're just going to unplug it, what I'd advise you to do is just get a little USB cable which I'm going to show you now. This one is a, a normal USB to a micro USB. We just plug the micro USB into this side here and then you find out where your USB ports are so again on this TV we've got a couple of USB ports here and we're just going to charge it up from the USB port so with this transmitter it works while it's charging so right now you can see the red lights on for charging but it's also going to be working if you haven't got any USB ports on your TV it's not a problem because all you need to do is get your Android mobile phone charger or even any USB phone charger and you just need to plug it into there and then plug that into an electrical supply and then that's going to keep it charged at all times but if you're only using it occasionally then these things have quite a long charge on them anyway they last quite a while so if uh, if you're only going to be watching TV for you know like an hour a night for example just leave it like this and then when you want to charge it just one day plug it out maybe after four or five days of use and then just charge it up so uh, that's it there in the headset now let's see it actually working turning into something that has few you can hear it and if you find that the sound quality is not that good what you'll have to do is you have to go into the settings and you'll have to make the headphone volume louder so at the moment I've got these on full and they're not very loud because the TV is not outputting it very loud to the headphone so on this particular TV I need to go to menu but it will vary on the TV then I'm going to go to sound and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says headphone. Now at the moment, headphone's only at 29. So this hasn't been played around with before. So it looks like the default on this one's 29. So I'm going to raise that right the way up because it's better to have it loud on the TV and then lower on the headphones. So I'm going to put that full and you can hear the sound now. It's really coming out loud now. But that's going to be too loud for your ears. So then I just need to turn it down on here and that will give you a better sound quality so if you find that when you put it on it's slightly hissy what happens is it's because the Bluetooth headphones are on full yet the TV is not outputting full so you're having to put the headphones on full for a sound that's not very loud so make it output louder and then put the volume on your heads headphones lower and then that will sound nice The only problem is, now, even if I was to turn this off, it still won't come through. So there we go, that's off now. The sound's still not coming through the TV. If I turn the Bluetooth receiver off. Right, so that's now off. The sound's still not coming through the TV. I have to unplug it to get the TV sound to work again. So it's not ideal, 
but it does work and it's fine for more occasional use. But the okay, let's go on to the next one. Now this one here is a wired connection. This one is always going to be the easiest because all you have to do is plug it into the headphone socket and it works. A lot of the time the headphones have like an inline volume thing so you can have it relatively loud on the TV and then just control the volume from this little bit on the headphones. Problem is the leads are often short. They're often only about a metre or a metre and a half short and that's no good if you're going to be sat quite far away from the TV. But you can get 3.5 millimeter extension leads very cheaply you can get them for a few pound on eBay and Amazon and basically that's just a male 3.5 millimeter plug to a female 3.5 mm and then all we do is we plug our headphone into the 3.5 millimeter socket and this part we're going to plug into the TV so again exactly the same as before we just plug the leads straight into the headphone jack in there and then as you can hear, it's now coming through the speakers here one by one. It spines and I can put the volume lo lower and higher the juvenile has literally via the, lava the inline control. So by far this is the easiest one, the only problem is you are tethered to the TV with a lead but that might not be an issue especially if you're sitting relatively close to the TV. And when you finish using these, it's nice and straightforward. You just unplug it from behind and it will start coming through the TV again. Once I take it off mute, there that we go. Very different. It's very dramatic. Okay, let's do the gaming headset now in the other room. Most of the... Okay, so in this one we're going to be using a wireless gaming headset similar to the types you would get with your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox One. Now we're only going to be getting sound through this, we're not going to be able to use the microphone to talk into the TV, so on most of these you can just remove the microphone anyway. You can leave it connected, it's not going to do any problem. And with this one it is going to be wireless but it's not using a Bluetooth connection. It's using this box here to send the signal from here to here. It's using a 2.4 gigahertz technology. So with this the TV will have to have a SPDIF, which is basically a Toslink connector. It's an optical connection. And this TV does, a lot of TVs do have them. And again, this unit needs power as well. So I'm just going to plug it into the USB port on the TV. Normally, if your TV has one of these Toslink optical outs, then it will have USBs as well. So let's have a look at the back of the TV now. Right, so if you have a look at the back of the TV here, we have this port here which has a red glowing light from it and it says Digital Audio Out Optical. So that's where we're going to be plugging in our toss lead from this little adapter and you have to plug this in the right way around, it will only go one way. So that goes in there like so and then I need to plug, I need to give this power. So I'm going to be using one of the spare USB ports that I've got on the back of the TV. I'm just going to be using this one here. They're both labelled up differently. The only difference is, is this output's 1 amp, this is 0.5 amps. But even if this is using less than 1 amp, which it would be, it doesn't actually matter that even if you plug it into that, it's only going to draw what it needs. So I'm just going to leave that tucked away behind there. If this is going to be a permanent solution, you can leave this sellotape somewhere anyway. And now what we have to do is we have to put turn this on and hopefully it will pair up with this unit here and there we go already I can hear the sound coming through here and, is being scanned by consultant and now I can put the volume up and down how many weeks ago we just been a little tiny warm, so. 27 weeks now so that's that there and the good thing about this is at the moment the TV's on mute but it's still coming out here but if I was to take this off mute you will find that it will come through the TV and this at the same time so right now that's coming through here don't know if you can hear that or not and it's also coming through the TV so let me just lower the TV one right down and you'll see so it's coming through there but it's also at the same time coming through the TV. Now I can change that if I want. The reason this particular setup would be handy to have it coming through the speakers and the TV is, let's say if you had a family member that was hard of hearing, then you wouldn't have to have the TV really loud just for them. You could have the TV at a normal listening 
volume for the rest of you, but then for the person who's hard of hearing, you could put the headphones on that person, they would be able to hear at their own level that they were comfortable with. Now, let's say if you don't want that, if you just want it to work through the speakers, all we do is we go into settings or menu. So on this one here, it's settings. And then I'm gonna go down to sound and I'm gonna to go to where it says select speaker. So at the moment it says TV speaker. But if I go down to where it says audio out optical, you can now see that the sound bars have gone from optical. So at the moment, oh, if I put it on TV speaker, you see the sound bars are here. So when it's on TV speaker, it works on here and here. But if I put it down to audio out optical, it's working purely on the optical out, which is working purely on here. Then goes back into the left side of the heart and is pumped round the Yeah, and it's not working on the TV anymore. So that's how you can choose between it. So actually, using this method here with the gaming speakers is actually quite good because on the other options, I only could have it working either on the TV or on the headphones, but at least by doing it this way, you can have it working on either of them. So that's quite a, quite a handy feature. Now you will be able to do this on very old TVs as well, if they've got either a headphone option or if they haven't, as long as they've got an audio out. So even if they haven't got a headphone option, If they have an audio out like this TV does here, then what you can do is just get yourself one of these very cheap leads. This is just a, a 3.5 millimeter socket, so a female, to two RCA plugs, also known as phono plugs. So all we're gonna do is plug red to red, white to white, and then we can either plug in our Bluetooth transmitter into there, or if you just wanna go for your wired headphones, then you can just plug your headphones straight into there and that will output the audio to that if your TV doesn't have a headphone jack. One thing I didn't mention is that there doesn't appear to be any lag when using any of these setups, even the Bluetooth one. The person speaking on the TV, the lips are in complete sync with the audio coming out of the TV. But if this is not the case, on some TVs you can actually play around with the audio delay. So on both Samsung TVs that I have, if I was to go to settings and go down to sounds and then across to expert settings and press enter, if you look down there, you will see something says or delay. Now, by default, it's on 40, but you can actually change that all the way down to zero and up to 250. So I'm just going to leave it on 40 because for me, there was no issue with it. But if you are having issues with it, so for example, if you're using your gaming headset via the 2.4 gigahertz, you know, when you plug in the little Toslink cable into the back, if you notice that the sound coming out of the TV, if you've got it on the TV speakers and the headphone, if you notice that the sound is different, then you can play around with the audio delay to try and get it synced up so it's the same. Right, another bit of information, let's say you've bought your new TV, you bring it home and you realize there's no headphone jack on it. A lot of the new TVs now, they're not shipping with any headphone jacks or any RCA phono outputs. The only output is the digital optical out. So you can still use your wired headphones with them. You would just have to get yourself one of these converters. It's a digital to analog converter. And basically what you do is you have to give it five volts power you have to plug in your SPDIF cable, so your Toslink cable, and just like before, you're gonna be connecting up one of the USB ports to give it power, you're gonna be connecting up your Toslink lead into the digital audio out, and then on the other end, you can either plug in your headphone jack, or you've got your left and right phono connectors there, your RCA connectors, and then, as you can see here, you will then be able to hear the sound, Through the headphones but what you will find is when you're using this setup here it's definitely not as loud as uh, as it is using the other options and of course I can't change the headphone volume on the TV because it doesn't ship with a headphone port so they haven't actually got the software in there to change anything and if I try to use the volume up and down it just comes up with this 
symbol here so I can't even change the volume on it. So this is not going to be any good if you want it loud because the sound is, you can definitely hear it, but it's not very loud. And if you need to get yourself one of these boxes, again they're on eBay and Amazon for between 10 and 15 UK pounds. So there you go, hopefully you will have already had some sort of speakers in your house, whether they be a gaming headset, wired speakers from years ago, or Bluetooth speakers. So by using that Bluetooth transmitter, you will be able to use your Bluetooth speakers on any TV with a headphone out, or any equipment that you have. I'm using TVs here, but the same thing applies to anything with a, with a headphone jack coming out of it. So uh, I hope you found the video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.